Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black with gold. And officially weighing in at 121 pounds, this 2004 Olympian now has a professional record that's perfect, consisting of 21 bouts, 21 victories, including 19 KOs, Damas y caballeros de Caguas, Puerto Rico, the undefeated. Number one ranked challenger in the world, Juan Manuel. Juan Manuel. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner. He's wearing black with gold. Official weight, 121 pounds also. Professional record, an outstanding one, 34 victories, including 30 knockouts, only one defeat. Damas y caballeros de Cuauhtémoc, Chihuahua, Mexico, the reigning, defending, WBO Super Bantamweight, champion of the world, Daniel Ponce de Leon. Good luck to both of you. When I sweat the lodo, over the mano, touch gloves. Another chapter in the long set, book, John. Jim, of uh, Mexican and Puerto Rican Good. fighters. It's been a great rivalry, and uh, this looks like another great matchup. With 49 days to go until July 26. The, yeah, how's that for a matchup? The Super Bowl, at least of this moment, for Puerto Rican versus Mexican fighters when Miguel Cotto takes on Antonio Margarito. So round one begins, and Emmanuel, I don't think I've ever seen a stronger looking 122 pound fighter physically mm. than Daniel Ponce de Leon. No, and he looks very strong and determined mentally also in this fight. He's punching a little shorter than he normally punches, and he's a lot more aggressive in, it in the beginning with shorter punches. Great confidence for Ponce de Leon as he fires his straight left hand down the middle against Juan Manuel Lopez. You know, obviously when two southpaws line up against each other, they're facing what should be easier offensive punching angles than when they go against conventional fighters. But both of these guys told us yesterday they're more comfortable going against conventional fighters for the simple reason that just like the guys who line up right-handed, they don't see as many southpaws as they do of the other kind. You know, southpaws really, as a rule, hate to fight another southpaw. You heard the crowd support for Lopez as they were introduced. Ponce de Leon, however, seems very comfortable in the first round and is letting his firepower go. And now Lopez begins to make his own mark with a straight left hand of his own. And remember, watch for those situations when Lopez is able to step inside of Ponce de Leon's long arms and land that quick right hook, which has been his knockout punch even more frequently than the left. Good jab by Lopez. And down goes Ponce de Leon. His legs are gone. And he's blinking his eyes, and there's a perfect example of Lopez's quicker, more skillful approach. Let's see if he can finish in round number one. This will be interesting because Ponce de Leon is not used to being on a defense. Ponce de Leon told us he's never been down before, nope. not in an amateur or a professional fight. Nope. Lopez has got him going once again. And look at the confidence of Juan Manuel Lopez as he steps into the middle of Daniel Ponce de Leon's firepower, looking for the knockout. But 53 seconds yet to go. But he's perfect it. hook. Another perfect hook. Shot Another shot. perfect hook. His punches are too short. Michael Ortega's got to make a decision now. Ponce de Leon doesn't have any legs. It's over. A tremendous first round knockout performance for Juan Manuel Lopez. What a debut at the top of the sport. A star is born. Bingo. He this actually looked back on his heels in the first 30 seconds of the fight. He was taking his time, Lopez. Not getting caught with anything stupid early. 
Juan Manuel Lopez has for the last couple of years been considered the best prospect out of Puerto Rico. He's not a prospect anymore, Jim. What a great right hook, Emmanuel. Yeah, it's much shorter, accurate punches. Much, he looked very seasoned and patient for a young, inexperienced fighter. And Daniel Ponce de Leon wondering what hit him as his career momentarily comes crashing down. Let's take a look at what happened. Good feint. That was the first hook that did the damage. Ponce de Leon not able to recover. Yeah, he got the, the right hook is really what it did to knock the skill knock down. It was just delayed action. Knockdown number two, Emmanuel. Right here, you see, it's just a simple case of his punches being shorter and more accurate. And then the punches coming back from Ponce on who has to have more of a loop room. And as a result, no pays his punches to get the end before. Another look at the second knockout. And in every one of these pictures, it's exactly what we set up for you, the notion of Lopez stepping inside and using that brilliant right hook to get it done. Yeah, he lands left hands, but it's really the power in the right hook that's the, the difference. right hook, but it is short, accurate punches. Lopez becomes a title holder in the 122-pound weight class and targets the Israel Vasquez's and Rafael Marquez's of the division. Let's go to Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, by way of Caesars Atlantic City here at the Boardwalk Hall, the fight comes to an end at two minutes, 25 seconds of round number one. The winner by TKO victory, still undefeated from Caguas, Puerto Rico, the new WBO Super Bantamweight Champion of the World, Juan Manuel, Juan Manuel.